Hello! In this video, I created a Doom clone game using Unreal Engine. This project is packed with classic features to pay homage to the iconic Doom series, including 8 directional sprites, a variety of weapons, menacing lava floors, and a weapon bobbing effect. But before we dive into the nitty gritty details, I want to remind you to check out my How to Make a Doom Clone in Unreal Engine course if you're eager to learn how I created this game from scratch with a step by step guide. It's the perfect resource. Now, let's jump right into the video. To kick things off, I started this journey by using Unreal Engine's FPS template. This template provides a basic first person character with a simple weapon which served as our starting point. My initial task was to give this character a complete makeover by replacing the default weapon system with my own one. So that's what I did and I also introduced an ammo system to make sure that the player had a limited supply of bullets and then I set up a very simple player HUD which displayed how much bullets the player had. Of course, we couldn't have a Doom inspired game without a diverse arsenal of weapons, so I created two types, Raycast and Projectile weapons. Raycast weapons shoot an invisible line from the gun's centre while projectile weapons literally hurl projectiles into the game world. The projectile weapons added a visually pleasing impact particle effect. Some of the projectile weapons that I added were the BFG, the rocket launcher and the plasma rifle. Meanwhile, weapons like the shotgun and pistol stuck with the line tray system. I also threw in some melee options like a chainsaw and bare fists and then I added a weapon pickup system that way the player could easily find and change weapons in the world if they wanted to do that. After this, I attempted to recreate Doom's weapon bob system. So in Doom, when you move, your weapon bounces up and down as you move. Using Unreal Engine's timeline system, I made it so when you start to move, your weapon will also start to bob up and down, and then this movement will stop if the player character stops or if they start to shoot their weapon. Next up, I tackled creating the AI, complete with 8 directional sprites. In Doom, you can view enemies from all angles, and I implemented a similar system using some math and code wizardry. For a deep dive into how that works, check out my video, How to Create 8 Directional Sprites Inside of Unreal Engine. I'll make sure it appears somewhere on the screen now. This allowed me to bring enemies to life as you could view them from 8 different angles, adding some immersion to the game. And by the way, if you're on the hunt for some retro FPS assets, I highly recommend you check out opengameart.org. It has a treasure trove of free weapons and enemy sprites. It's an invaluable resource for any game developer looking to kind of create a classic Doom game. Some of the enemies that I um, used in this project come from opengameart.org. Moving on to enemies, I created three distinct types. The first was a hybrid enemy, which was capable of both shooting projectiles and performing melee attacks. Using behavior trees, I programmed this enemy to adapt based on player proximity. If you are within range of the enemy and it could see you, it would attempt to get close to you and launch melee attacks. But if you are out of range and still visible, it would resort to shooting projectiles at you. I used similar code from this enemy to create enemies which only did melee or ranged attacks. Then I added some basic items like an ammo and health pickup as well as explosive barrels which could damage both you and the enemy. When I coded these items, I made sure that they always faced the player character like in the classic Doom game. I also introduced a keycard system for doors. I made some normal doors which would just open when the player got near them and I also made some doors which would only open once the player had the right keycard. And then I added Doom inspired lava floors. Stepping onto these floors would basically gradually chip away at the player character's health. Once all of the pieces of the puzzle were in place, I worked up a quick prototype level to showcase everything that I've created using Unreal Engine's modeling mode. This basically allowed me to quickly piece together a level. And if you're interested in basically how to use and uh, learn Unreal Engine's prototyping model, I also made a video covering this. It's called How to Design Levels Quickly Inside of Unreal Engine. So I just used this. I'll put it somewhere on the screen now. It's really helpful if you just want to like quickly make a level. So then once I designed the level, I then basically placed some of my enemies and the actors that I made earlier on throughout my level. Then to round things off, I added some final touches that brought the game to life I added a face HUD, reminiscent of the classic Doom games, which showcased your character's emotional state based on their health. It's a subtle effect, but I really liked it. I also then just locked the player character's camera's rotation to a left and right axis for that old school vibe. 
And then lastly, I was kind of running into an era where my eight directional sprites were kind of looking weird sometimes. So I made it so when the enemy spots you, you'll only be able to see a front facing sprite. And then when they're roaming, you'll be able to view the enemy from eight different angles. And if you want to learn how to bring all these elements together and create your own Doom clone, don't forget to dive into my how to make a Doom clone course inside of Unreal Engine. It's the ultimate guide for crafting your own nostalgic gaming experience. So I created a very simple level where the player character basically has to reach the end of the level in order to complete the game. Although in order to get to the end point of this level, they need to basically unlock a key card, which they'll find somewhere in the level. So let's go through it. So I start my level off by giving my player access to every single different weapon that I created in my Doom clone game. Then if we just go through these doors here, there'll be a ranged enemy which will shoot projectiles at the player. It's not noticed me yet, but if I shoot it, it should notice me. And then I'm just gonna kill this guy. So the main objective of this level is to get through this um, big red door here, but you need to find the key card. And the key card is somewhere in this level. So let's look for it. I am going to here. So this is a hybrid enemy, which is enemy. If I get close to it, it will try to melee attack me. But I won't let it. And this is the melee enemy. Let's switch to a different weapon. So I'll just shoot. Card. I made it open that door and then this is just a normal door and then you can walk through here I put two big locks and then Had an orange key card from earlier, so I can open that door. Ooh. And then if I just go back here, and I can open this door, and then I added the star. And when you um, go to it, you basically win. Then it restarts the level. So that is the um, Doom Clone game that I made. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful or inspiring, Please do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting content. That's all and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.